How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, my client is flying in from California to get a cover up done. And what we're doing is his whole outer sleeve. He came a few months back to get the left side done, so now we gotta do the right. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go! So what, what are your ideas? Um, I was thinking, after, after looking at, you know, looking at this and mm -hmm. keeping, kind of, kind of make it like matching, like, oh, hold on, how did, how did uh, Reyes do that? So I started coming up with hey, different ideas. let's go. <laughs> That's tight. Look at this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's tight. Okay. But, uh, so that, that, that was like the gladiator that I, that I saw. Let me show you the I mean, yeah. Or whatever it looks. Because that's nice what I was, you know. I was thinking. At first I was like, uh, maybe maybe a Jesus piece, okay. uh, Jesus here. But then she, she was like, you know, are you want a gladiator and a Jesus? It would yeah. <laughs> right underneath that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, 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 I'm open mind. I'm so sorry. Okay. Let's go. Let's get to work. Today I'm going to be reviewing this new cartridge by Ambition. Thank you guys so much for sending me so many boxes. I really appreciate you. I love the fact that they sent me a 14 round liner. That's very thoughtful because you guys know that I use a 14 round liner for every single tattoo. They also sent me an 11 curve mag, which I've been using a lot lately, and also a seven round liner. What I look for in a cartridge, it doesn't matter the quality, it doesn't matter the brand. The only thing that matters for me is how sensitive it is for the ink to come out of the cartridge as soon as it hits the skin. I like to stick out my needle as much as I can. And as soon as that needle touches the skin, I like when the ink comes out so smooth. I don't like it when it just shoots out or when it just retains it. So uh, I can't wait to try this out. I'm excited, so let's go. Pa' que se suelte, la música no me la cambie. Po, 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 ponle. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm ready, bro. You ready? Let's do it. I am. Did you eat your breakfast? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, cool. I was like, if you haven't ate, you no, gotta yeah, eat right I'm, now. I'm good. Make sure you get my good side. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I had a mask. So, oh. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> this time you're like. <laughs> You know? Let <laughs> me put my shades on. <laughs> <laughs> Can you remind me what was the story behind the the Puma? The Puma? The, 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 the Panther? I keep calling it a Puma. It <laughs> looks like a Puma to me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got this on, I was, I was young. I was like uh, 21 or something 20. like that. 20. Somewhere, somewhere around there. Um, okay. I wanted a, you know, Tupac had a, uh, had a Black Panther. Oh! I, I was a huge, huge Tupac fan. Okay. And then I was like, and I didn't want to get the same one that he had, uh -huh. but I wanted a Panther just in reference because he had a Panther, uh -huh. right? Oh, wow. But I, he, because Tupac had the, uh, just the, the head. Uh huh. The, 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 the head of the Panther. Okay. Like, uh, roaring or whatever, right? Uh huh. So then I just went to the tattoo shop and then I was like, nah, I'll take that one. <laughs> 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 You look like a wrestler, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I know, you know, that I, uh, that I'm, uh, I'm not that tall, Me but I've never felt shorter in my life standing next to you. We're the same height. But the width, bro. <laughs> the width. That's funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Today we're gonna be working on the outer sleeve here. I have them for the next two days and uh, we're gonna cover up the top uh, today and do the bottom. Tomorrow's gonna be super easy. I don't have to do a cover up. I don't have to worry about anything. I, all I gotta do is come in, tattoo and go home. But today, I gotta focus. Cause I mean, we have a lot going on here. So this whole California area is scarred. This is pretty faded, but you can still feel the lines here on some areas. The panther, surprisingly, is not scarred at all, uh, which in my, I, I, you know, I would assume that this is the, the, the piece that would be scarred the most, but it is not. Uh, I don't have a specific goal where I want this to land. Honestly, wherever it lands, I'm gonna be able to work with it because the whole entire thing is full of texture and it's full of uh, amazing detail. So I don't have to worry about me applying the stencil on a specific area. All I gotta do is just place it and work, go from there. 
Give it a little angle just to give it more style, more dimension to the whole thing. Here we go. This one right there. Satisfying. Let's go. What a stencil, bro. That looks amazing. That looks amazing. Go ahead and check out the placement. Make sure you like what you see. <clears throat> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you ready or what? Yeah. yeah. Let's I'm go. Ready. Let's do it. Be honest, bro. You came back because of my singing, not my tattoos. Oh, yeah, no, huh? yeah. Yeah. And, and, I, I know. And the breakfast. And the breakfast. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, man, I'm gonna get a tattoo just to get some breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get well fed when you're here. <laughs> Coises, acabó la cuarentena. Cuerpo lo sabe. All right, here we go. Trying this needle's ambition. First thing I'm noticing is that the ink is coming out so smooth. The cartridge is not retaining any ink. Very sensitive to the touch. Yeah, this is going to be a really good day. I'm really happy to see that, that they're performing as I would hope they would perform. So dope. As soon as I touch the skin, needle just, I mean, uh, ink just comes out. Super smooth. Oh! Ah, ah. That's the one? Yeah, that's the one. Conocía una nena tan bella. Let's go. Yo. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rise in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. Never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. You move slow when I move fast. And that's facts. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. I will never be the same. Cause that's what it takes.
What time is it right now? I didn't even check. It is 7.27. 7.27. Okay. So we've been going out here for about about Six. eight hours. Damn. 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 It's because you keep wasting time, bro. That's why. <laughs> you keep wasting Damn. time and I can't, can't finish. It's your fault. I, uh, I ended up doing the whole entire background, the helmet, and the reason why I left the uh, part of the face uh, at the end it's because as a cover-up, um, I wanted to, since this is a huge cover-up, I wanted to be able to kind of uh, balance out the contrast. I wanted to be able to figure out how dark I can make this part of the helmet or how, how bright, you know? I didn't want to just go in and then as soon as I was done, find out that I went too dark. So this is me uh, controlling my contrast and my highlights. So I'm gonna start with my solid black here and with my 14 round liner a voltage of a 5.0 and I'm gonna do the texture that I do in every video you guys already know and if you're new to this channel it's uh, this is how I do texture I do uh, the scribble technique this technique is crazy X's O's cross hatch anything no specific pattern There is a glare on the helmet the, around one of the circles. And it's a very small area, but I definitely want to enhance that part of the helmet and, and make that glare a little bit bigger. So uh, I'm gonna change, uh, I'm gonna put a, a, a picture here for, so you guys can see the reference and see what I'm following. Right in between those little gaps, I'm actually gonna be adding uh, my gray tones. So that's why I'm kind of spreading out the texture. I'm leaving bigger gaps as I get closer to the middle. And it's, it looks like on my reference down here is like gray tones. This whole entire thing is gray tones, so I'm gonna take advantage of that too. Medium gray right here. I start adding it. Perfect, now that I have that. Now I'm going to my lightest gray now. Switch to my lightest gray and start filling in those little gaps. Now that I see the whole thing, now I'm gonna start adding the final little details to make it come together, give it that, that um, extra, extra. Uh, throughout this whole process here, I was not following my reference. I was just going based off what I feel is the best um, way I can approach it. So I'm just kind of, you know, having fun with it. And that's, I think that's when you have um, the most fun, when you're kind of going with the flow, with your own, uh, uh, with your own style, your own idea of how it's supposed to look like. There you go. <laughs> God damn, boy! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> That's it. I'm done. Yeah. Rough. Rough day, huh? Well, rough like four hours, probably. The la yeah, the last yeah. portion of it was intense. I was feeling it. I was like, oh my god, I'm, I'm hurting him 100. percent The first, the first, the first part was it was cool, it was, mm -hmm. no problem. It's oh. just like once you got up here, the top, huh? Yeah, that, where the panther was. Yeah, that. that's where. Yeah. Oh, you made it though. Man, tomorrow is gonna be cake. Cake for him. Cake walk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could the last 30 minutes, but I was like, oh my god, I'm hurting him. <laughs> <laughs> How you feeling? Uh, a lot better now. A lot better now that I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you sleep? Um, good. You were probably exhausted yesterday, huh? Yeah, no, it was, it was easy to go to sleep. Oh yeah? You knocked out? Me too. I was tired.
Yes, sir. Love the placement. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Damn, I love this song. Oh, oh, oh. Yo ya sé dónde buscar. Me he perdido tantas veces. Mano de mi vida y hermana de corazón. Y digo yo. Gotta get a good angle for the viewers. Can the viewers see? Stretch it this way, there you go. My approach for the whole piece is to use a single cartridge, which is a 14 round liner. Uh, oof. Comían los callejones y ahora en restaurantes. Un chico ponte a cantar. El tiempo que malgastaste lamentar y ahora. Man, this song is contagious, bro. This song gets me going. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna be using a, a 14 round liner because it's gonna allow me to do so much texture, so, many, so much detail on this lion. And I feel like that's uh, with this cartridge is what's gonna help me and allow me to add all these little tiny details to this, uh, to this lion. So uh, I'm probably gonna use a Mac, who knows uh, if I really need it. But as in right now, I don't think I need nothing else but this one cartridge. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's time to explain a couple things. So I'm gonna do the texture on the nose. <laughs> we just ate, so the energy is like, relax, you know, we're chilling. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, the, uh, what time is it, like three, four? I think this is the time four where times. everybody gets pretty much like sleepy. There's a, there's a word for that, right? When you get sleepy during the day. <laughs> Let's see. There's a term for that. When you're just like, I'm so tired, I need a, I need a nap right now. It's 3 p.m., I need a nap. A nap food coma? So food coma? Food coma. Yeah, food. We'll go with that. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start with my solid black here. I'm gonna do the nose. Now, I've been saving this part just to show how I'm gonna do it. So this is the way I'm gonna do the nose. And I haven't switched needles, it's the same one, 14 round liner, running at a 5.0, same thing. It never changes. I have to say it in every video. <laughs> here we go. So uh, this is one of the wrinkles here. So I'm gonna go in. And instead of me doing like a, like a straight line, I'm gonna do like little texture. Little texture, little texture, to show that it, it looks fuzzy. Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. Um, there's actually a, a medical term for that. A medical term? I want to see it. Post pro. <laughs> po post prandial? Wait, like Pram? Pra <laughs> How do you pronounce it? I can't pronounce it. Post, <laughs> post prandial. Uh, post -prand prand yeah. So, some, 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 some nolens. Some nolens. <laughs> and it means sleep. 
<laughs> Meaning sleep in Latin. Oh my God. Well, that's fancy. I got postprandial somadonsis. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, excuse me? Yeah. So now that I have my black, I'm gonna go to my medium gray. Start attacking that little corner right next to that black line. Start attacking it with your medium tone. Just a little bit, not too much. I'm gonna spread it here a little bit more just because I need more gaps in order for me to create that illusion that the sun is hitting the nose from this angle here. So now I'm gonna go to my lightest gray. And I'm still doing the texture technique here, the scribble. And I'm going right in between the gray tones. I don't wanna lose those, those darker tones. So I'm just gonna, I'm just filling in the, the blink areas in between every dot of uh, the medium gray. And then finish it off by adding just enough. You don't wanna leave such a bright, uh, bright line right there, even though in my reference it shows it. But you don't wanna leave that. Um, make sure to kind of play around with it. Just enough, make it look bright, but also don't leave it completely blank. Just add a little bit of texture to it, just a little bit. There you go, that's pretty much what I'm gonna keep doing across the whole entire face. And that's what I've been doing on the whole face. Um, so this technique is what I'm gonna keep doing. And um, yeah. Let's continue. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I hella kicked that. <laughs> and remember, when you eat too much, <laughs> you're gonna get perspondyo uh, samanolens. So be careful with that. Don't eat too much or you'll get that. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming back and watching this brand new video. I really appreciate you. This weekend was honestly super fun, full of energy, good vibes. I, I fell in love with the project, um, especially having three different tattoos and a lot of open gaps. That makes it really challenging. And uh, I was really happy to see that I was able to navigate through it without a problem. As far as the cartridges that I use for this project, uh, I gotta say, I'm really impressed. I'm extremely impressed just because I, uh, I'm the type of person that the only thing I'm picky about when it comes down to my equipment is my cartridges. I don't care about the machine that I use. I don't mind the type of uh, towels that I use. Uh, you know, ointment, none of that. But cartridges for me are one of the most important things. When it comes down to doing cover-ups, I have to make sure that it's not shooting out or retaining the ink because that's gonna affect the way I navigate through the tattoo. Because the, if the cartridge is just shooting out the ink, it's gonna make a big blob and I might, might lose the stencil. When doing a cover-ups, I have to make every stroke count. And if the cartridge is retaining the ink, that's causing unnecessary irritation. So in conclusion, I love these cartridges and I'm gonna start using them on, a, on every single project. And uh, I ended up contacting Ambition to let them know that I love the product. I was very impressed with their product. They ended up replying back and they told me, hey, you know what, uh, we're gonna give you a code. Uh, so in case anyone that follows your socials, they're able to get 10% off uh, if they wanted to purchase the product. So I'm gonna put the link in the description if you guys wanna purchase some boxes, just put in this code right here and uh, you guys are gonna get 10% off. So if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.